Canada has become one of the most popular country in the world. Are you planning to study in Canada? Then stay tuned. Canada has become one of the most popular destination to international students. There are a few reasons that why students are choosing Canada for their higher studies. First of all, it's an English speaking country, one of the largest countries in the world and definitely one of the safest countries without any doubt and Canada has the most diverse and multicultural environment where students will be able to get an opportunity to meet different people with different languages, different cultures. Canada has a very top ranked universities in the world for an example University of Toronto, University of British Columbia and so on. The most exciting part of Canadian education is that in Canada you will not be learning only from your book you will be learning practically so so that what's happening you know that when you are coming in the job market you are already ready for that so Canadian education helps you to learn from the practical things that's very important and also in when you are starting in Canada you will be getting an opportunity to work part-time and of course in the vacation you can work full-time in your course of course you will be getting to work uh, full-time in a company according to your relevant subject and where you, you will be paid and this will give you an additional exposure in your career there are a lot of scholarships they're offering based on your academic average and you will be getting a good scholarship if you have a good academic average and definitely in Canada there are a lot of courses from high school level up to master's level we from your consultant representing directly more than 60 Canadian public institutions and we do offer high school program diploma program advanced diploma bachelor postgraduate diploma and masters you must have IELTS it should be at least 5.5 to up to 7 depends on the courses you are selecting Promin Consultant has a very strong team who are really skilled and well trained by all Canadian universities and they will help you throughout the way and when we do work for our students we really do assessment of our students academic English proficiency and financial profile so that our students are becoming very successful all the time so if you're planning for Canada then of course join with Promin Consultant and definitely we will not disappoint you in your journey. Be with Promian Consultant and be successful. Hello. Um, you hear my voice? Yes, yes, I can hear your voice. Echo. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our live session today. I am Pragana, Global Recruitment and Business Development Executive of Prominent Consultant. This live session is for international students who come from Middle East country. In this live session, we would like to talk about study in Canada. If you're really interested to know about Canada, studying in Canada, this live session will be benefit for you. So today in our live session, we have our guest, uh, chef executive of our prominent consultant, Mr. Syed. Hello, Mr. Syed, how are you? 
I'm, I'm really sorry, actually, my mic was in mute, on mute. So uh, yes, thank you so much, and I'm really fine. And thank you so much for uh, for this live session and having me as guest. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Said. We have some uh, questions to you. So uh, in this live session, I will ask from you. So I, I also wanted to to say our viewers that if you have any extra questions, so they can ask also. We are ready to answer them. Exactly, so, and I'd like to add something more with Fargana that, yes, uh, Fargana is our um, global uh, recruitment and business development executive. Uh, so she looks after uh, Turkey, Middle East, and some other countries uh, from Africa and uh, Latin America as well. So uh, definitely she will be taking care of all these markets and all the student recruitment about, uh, in these markets. So definitely if you have any question, uh, you just feel free to ask on the live session. And uh, if you are uh, if you're interested and if your friends or your uh, you know that the people you know uh, who are really interested for Canada. So definitely you, you can share this live session in your timeline. So people who are really interested, uh, they would be really benefited through this live session. Yeah. And thank you so much, Fargana, for a wonderful intro. You're welcome. And, um, and definitely, and I have a very big announcement for you before we start the uh, live session, I mean, the discussion. So uh, there is an event, virtual event, which is our uh, partner college sponsored, like Douglas College uh, presents uh, uh, the virtual event, I mean, virtual open information day, which will be held on 22nd of uh, October, Friday, uh, at Turkey time at 5 p.m. it will start and the, in the college representative from Douglas College, she will be represent, she will be there uh, to talk to the to talk to the international students who are from Turkey and Azerbaijan and other countries. So please uh, try to join this uh, virtual event. It has been already uh, posted and uh, we already posted this uh, about the details of this event in this live session comment section. So you just need to re register uh, to join the event. Uh, and thank yeah, you so much uh, for watching us. This yes, 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 and, and definitely um, for our future students. Exactly, and we have uh, we have uh, commented. Uh, I mean, we have given the details of these live uh, virtual event in the comment section. So, students, if they want to uh, join this live session, uh, sorry, join this virtual event, they can uh, register and they can join after that. Mm -hmm. So, yes, uh, Fargana, you are most welcome to ask me the question. No problem. Okay, so we can, we can start our questions. So, Mr. Sayed, uh, our first question is, why can students choose Canada for higher studies? Okay, uh, uh, this is a very general question and very important question as well, since mm -hmm. uh, international uh, to the international students, Canada has become one of the most popular destinations uh, nowadays because there, there are few important reasons behind that. Since, first of all, uh, Canada is an English-speaking country. Mm, uh, so when students are going abroad or uh, or they're planning to study somewhere, uh, you know, language should be, if the language is English, so definitely it is, uh, it is very helpful for them because they don't need to know the additional language, which since English is an international language and and most of the people they know english those those who are planning to go to abroad so definitely uh, since canada uh, in canada english is the first language so it's a great benefits for all the students that they can they don't they will not face any difficulties uh, about the language so that is another that is number one advantage of studying in canada the second thing is that they're very largest country i mean it's it is uh, the second largest countries in the world country in the world after russia and uh, it's a big country huge country and the population is very low. It's just uh, 35, uh, 35 million so far. I know uh, it's, it's very, very less population over there. And the most important thing for international students, you know, that most of the international students, they are looking for some country or some destination where they are safe. Uh, and the people from those countries are welcoming. They're friendly. So Canada is such a country that people uh, in, Can in Canada, people are very, very friendly. They are very welcoming to international students. And yes. it's one of the safest countries mm -hmm. in the world. And uh, the, the education system in Canada, really, it's uh, really uh, internationally recognized. And they have very top rank universities in Canada as well worldwide. They have top rank universities. They're very good in research. And the most important thing I would I would say that uh, the education system is completely practical based. Uh, so students they will be learning uh, from the real time uh, real time you know that environment. So uh, in that case uh, when they are uh, you know that when they are complete completing their degree from Canada, so they are really ready for the job 
or for the industry. So that is another advantage of studying in Canada. And uh, they do offer scholarships, um, especially for undergrad, especially in undergraduate programs, uh, they offer scholarship. And for the, uh, for the brilliant students, those who have good uh, grades in their class 12, so they have interest scholarship, they have so many excellent scholarships they do offer. And uh, the most important another thing is that they do offer co-op, which is paid internship. So during their study, students can uh, students can work industry in the industry during their study, and they can earn money. They can earn uh, as a full-time employee uh, doing co-op or paid internship, and they can um, you know that they can uh, not only they are earning money, they are also earn, they are also earning experience in this uh, yeah. co-op uh, se section and uh, which can be very helpful in their future uh, future job uh, area and the uh, uh, actually the we need to say the very important part that of canada studying canada since we know that in canada students can work part time during study which is 20 hours in a week and uh, they can work full time in the in the vacation time that is another advantage and uh, after graduation or after degree they can apply for post graduate work permit so students uh, actually they don't uh, they don't need to come back they can they can get work permit um, they can get work permit up to three years postgraduate work permit uh, once they finish their degree and finally they can apply for permanent residency which is the most attractive part of uh, Canadian education yeah. so once we are once someone is going to Canada uh, definitely uh, they can apply for permanent residency after having the work experience. So that, these are the all uh, advantages of studying in Canada, and really for that reason, the students are choosing Canada. And the university campus, uh, the college campuses are really, really very fantastic. A very big campus, very large, uh, very green campus, and uh, students uh, very. And the most important, I forgot to say that uh, Canada is one of the most diverse country because uh, in Canada, students will experience the multicultural environment in the university or college campuses. So. These are the reasons basically that student can choose uh, students are uh, choosing for uh, choosing Canada for the higher studies. Yeah. Okay. So thank you for all explanation. Actually, you already answered my some of questions in this uh, session. I wanted to to ask one by one about the no problem, no problem, no problem. Up and uh, after graduation, but you already answered. Thank you very much. So next question is, uh, why should a student choose prominent as their agent, agency to apply to Canadian University? Yes, actually uh, in Canada, I mean Canadian institutions, uh, because prominent consultant is mostly working with Canadian public institutions. Uh, so like you know that uh, Canadian, we are working with the Canadian universities and colleges and we are the direct partner of them. We are the official agent of those institutions and prominent consultant because they can choose prominent consultant because prominent consultant has been working since last 14 years and uh, definitely we have a long experience in this uh, as an education agent and uh, not only that we are one of the one of those few companies that we directly uh, represent uh, more than 65 canadian public institutions so uh, these are the uh, these are the, you know that uh, the highlighting points of prominent consultant and uh, prominent consultant has a good success ratio a good success track since last couple of years and uh, we have we are really recruiting uh, a good number of students uh, uh, to uh, to our in our different partner institutions in canada and uh, we are very transparent we our team is very experienced we are skilled we are well trained and we give importance we give priority to our students so you know that students they feel comfortable they are feeling comfortable they are feeling com they are very comfort comfortable with us uh, since we do work uh, very sincerely and very transparently and um, i believe that yes uh, definitely we always try to give them the best service okay since and a student can feel uh, they can uh, choose from and consultant since we are directly working with the university we are the partner of them uh, as you know that prominent consultant is also representing so many uh, public universities those are well ranked in the world uh, so for an example university of waterloo university of manitoba yes so we are really uh, doing very well in, uh, mm -hmm. since last couple of years and students can they uh, they can feel free to work with us uh, because they, they will get a very good platform uh, in, in prominent to work with us 
Thank you. So my next question is, uh, is how does education system work in Canada? But you already answered that education system focused. Uh, no, actually, uh, yes, I, I want to add, I, I want to add something more about the education mm -hmm. system in Canada. See, in Canada, uh, there are two kinds, uh, there are two kinds of institutions, uh, uh, like, you know, that, uh, you know, there are like, uh, there are colleges, there are universities, no, right? Yes. So, so the thing is that uh, sometimes students are getting confused. That um, I mean, what, what what are those? What are the universities and what are the colleges? I mean, what's the, what's the difference? difference? So, difference, yes. So, in Canada, the education system is completely like they have uh, divided into two parts. Like uh, the college programs are mostly practical based. Um, those who are planning to do the practical programs or the skill based program learning, uh, they want, if they want to have the skill based learning experience, then definitely definitely uh, definitely college programs are very, very good options for them and if some students if they are uh, really interested for uh, you know that the the theoretical based or research based programs definitely then university programs are uh, uh, the, the best options for them so uh, definitely the canadian education system i would say that uh, they are focusing on mostly practical base uh, because uh, uh, because they need skilled people and they, they they are very concerned about that the students should be learning from the practical uh, from the practically so that they can easily they can easily implement their, implement their skills right after their graduation and as i told you that they are offering a paid internship in between in, in between the courses and uh, and the students are getting experience before they graduate even right so it's a very helpful thing for them because uh, when they are uh, finishing when they are finishing their degree and before that they are already having uh, a one year or one and a half year uh, work full time work experience um, you know that it is, it, is, it is very helpful for them in their future um, um, job experience so so these are the actually the education system in Canada and they do offer different type of courses you know that uh, diploma they do offer uh, advanced diploma postgraduate diploma bachelor master so so you know that students can choose their degrees depends on their career goal mm -hmm. so this is yes. the education system overall in Canada um, Yes, thank you, sir. So you already explained to us about uh, what's the difference between uh, college and university uh, in uh, college and university education. So my next question is, what's the difference between uh, public and private institutions in Canada? OK, this is a very important question uh, because uh, uh, there are uh, there are uh, private institutions and there are public institutions in Canada. Mostly, you will find in Canada mostly are public institutions, uh, mm -hmm. the public universities and public colleges. And um, there is every institution has a DLI number, which is called designated learning institution number. So you, you can see in the website that all the colleges uh, have the DLI number. I mean, most of the colleges who, who have the DLI numbers, they are. Uh, really uh, approved to take the international students. Even even though they are private, uh, they have the DLI number. The, uh, the DLI number means they are approved to take the international students, or they are approved to run an institution. So both the public uh, institutions and the private institutions they have DLI number. But the thing is that all private institutions they are not approved, or the, the students will be uh, getting a degree uh, from from a from a private college. They might not get the postgraduate work permit, so uh, so they can they can easily check this uh, in the website in the website of uh, Canadian Immigration. So from there they can easily find that uh, which colleges uh, are approved uh, for the postgraduate work permit. So so I would prefer I would say I would recommend that whenever you will uh, you will search for in for an institution, it's better if you can choose a public institution oh, in yes. uh, in, in Canada. Yes, yes, it's ten hours exactly. Yes, yes, and and you you see that in prominent, uh, we mostly, I mean, ninety five percent of our institutions are public. Okay. So there are a few privates, but uh, these privates are really, really very good. Uh, they are the very good. They are well established, and they they do offer also postgraduate work permit. So so that's why yeah, students very need to be very careful uh, before choosing an institution, and they should choose always a private, uh, sorry, public institution. Uh, and uh, if uh, we can find a, a good private institution, they can go for that. But they need to check whether this uh, institution yes, is exactly. has is having the postgraduate work permit options or not. So uh, when we get any applic applicants, we are always uh, giving this information to them for their future. Exactly. Yeah, for in the our future, office. Yes. 
So yes. my next question is, um, actually you explained a little bit, I want to ask, ask again, what are the courses are offered uh, by Canadian universities? Courses, oh. like? Yes, so, so that's a very good question since, uh, see, the thing is that Canadian uh, universities, I, I, ha I have said that there are two kinds of institutions, uh, universities and colleges. So in yes. university, uh, most of the universities, they do offer uh, bachelor programs, uh, four years bachelor programs, and they do offer a master's program, two years master's program. And uh, sometimes, uh, I, mean, I mean, most of the universities, they do offer as well a uh, master's research program because in master's level, in post-graduation level, there are two kinds of programs like master's course-based and master's mm -hmm. research-based. So research-based, definitely we don't work for that since you know that for research-based uh, programs, they need, uh, uh, they need okay. the supervisor supervisor professor to, to be involved in that part so we don't deal uh, the research based program we only deal the master's course based program and also they do offer phd which also we cannot uh, offer to them so we are offering only bachelor programs which is post secondary uh, post secondary degrees and also the postgraduate uh, sorry and master's program few universities uh, they do offer diploma uh, diploma and sometimes they do offer as well postgraduate diploma in postgraduate level and in college level, uh, most of the colleges, they do offer uh, diploma, advanced diploma. Uh, diploma is for two years and advanced diploma is for three years. So you know that the difference between diploma, advanced diploma is advanced diploma is a little bit, uh, you know, that a little bit quite strong uh, program since it's, it has the three years of duration and uh, students will be doing advanced diploma. So they will be a little bit advanced, uh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, rather than the diploma students. So. And, and some colleges, they do offer also bachelor program, four years bachelor program. And sometimes, uh, and most of the colleges, they do offer postgraduate diploma. Postgraduate diploma, uh, they have one year duration or they have two years of duration of uh, some programs. And sometimes some colleges, they do offer uh, one plus one uh, program, which is uh, the students can do two different majors in two years. So that is also there in some colleges. So these are the programs actually they do offer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So my next question is, uh, what are the job facilities for international students? I mean, during study or after graduation or in vacation or? Program, before uh, going to that part, uh, I just mentioned one more thing that, uh, as I told you that, uh, that they, they offer so many programs uh, like diploma, advanced diploma, but uh, you just, just they must be wondering what kind of subjects they do offer. So I would like to uh, tell that, yes, uh, in Canada, um, they do offer a lot of programs, like more than 30, that's more than 300 uh, subjects, uh, including business, arts, humanities, uh, science and technology, computer, uh, engineering, uh, education, psychology, economics, uh, film studies, I mean, um, tourism and hospitality, uh, leadership. So any subject uh, you can apply for in Canada, but some programs are really competitive. So uh, before applying to those program to those subjects, you need to check your eligibility mm -hmm. first. And uh, definitely prominent is here to give you the right guideline to, for choosing your institution and uh, subjects and program as well. Depends on your profile. Yes, yes Pragana, yes. Uh, you are asking me about... Uh, Job facilities. I, I, forgot your question. Mm -hmm. I forgot your question. Job facilities. Okay, fine. Yeah. After graduation, right? Yeah, uh, during study, even after completion degree or vacation, doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, in Canada, definitely um, during study, I have already said uh, before in my, in my first speech that uh, yes, uh, they can do work uh, part time uh, during a study, which is 20 hours per week. And um, they can also uh, do work full time during vacation, like summer vacation or Christmas holidays. Um, and after graduation, definitely, you know that they can apply for postgraduate work permit up to three years and uh, they can work full time there. And as I said, co-op, there, there is a term called co-op. And yes, yes co-op is a full time work and it's not an odd job. They will work uh, during co-op in the relevant industry. So co-op is a really fantastic option for them. So within their studies, they are getting, uh, they are having the work experience uh, more than one year uh, during, um, in, in co-op. Mm -hmm. Great. So, Mr. Said, uh, my next question is: uh, What is the basic requir requirement for admission? Okay, Pargana. Before going to that question, uh, to answer of this question, we will have a break for two minutes, and we'll have a video of our successful student. Okay. Let's okay. have the video. We can.
Dear viewers, uh, welcome you once again in this video uh, with a successful story of one of our student uh, who is Mahdi Hassan, who recently got visa uh, to study in Canada for postgraduate diploma in uh, Douglas College. As you know, the Douglas College is located in New Westminster, which is very close to Vancouver, and it's the largest public college in, in British Columbia. So their programs are integrated with the industry and highly uh, industry focused program they actually they do offer and uh, Mahadi uh, he got visa for two years post baccalaureate diploma in health information management so Mahadi uh, first of all I would like to congratulate you thank you and sir. Um, and definitely it's a it's a great achievement that uh, you got visa very quickly I mean people are people have been waiting sometimes long time for getting visa but I think uh, starting from your admission process up to visa process, everything has been done very quickly, right? Yes. What so do you think? It was done within 1.5 months. 1.5 months. Yes. Great, great. So sometimes uh, you know that uh, to get the offer letter, it takes more than two months. Uh, where, yeah. And uh, in, in terms of you, you have done everything within one and a half months. So it's a great achievement and uh, thank you so much. And you people, uh, actually, you were very, very active on that. I, I would like to say all the viewers that uh, especially, yes, we are, we are so serious, definitely. But from your side, you must be also very very serious to get as uh, to get success so Madik, i mean how is your overall feeling now since you got Sir, visa and <laughs> i'm really lucky and i thank to almighty allah that I, I i have managed with everything within a very short range of time and from my childhood me and my father shared a, a common dream to get higher studies in uh, North America or Europe. So I think that dream is uh, becoming true. Uh, so I'm really excited and thankful to Almighty Allah. And especially I'm thankful to Prominent as well because um, Prominent helped me a lot. Thank you so much for a wonderful compliment. But in North America, there, there, there is one more country which is the top, which is US. still top US. So why not States and why is Canada? Sir, I guess uh, I want to uh, get a peer, so it will be very easy for me to get peer from Canada. So your dream was to get peer, <laughs> to get uh, a passport yeah. from an American country. <laughs> yeah, it's a common dream. <laughs> so yes, really, that's why uh, we always say uh, study in Canada and uh, study, work, and settle. So Canada is such a country where you can study, and after study you can you can work full time, and then you can you can get peer very easily. So, I mean, uh, why have you chosen Douglas? Because you are a university student, and don't you think that uh, I'm uh, instead of a university student? I mean, I was a university student. Now I'm going to a college. So, don't you feel down for that? No, sir. Uh, because I don't need a master's degree to get uh, a good job or peer. Because if I I complete my degree program, that is uh, health information management, which is uh, recently very demanding subject so i believe i hope that i will get a good job with good salary in canada so so that i can easily get my peer how do you think about douglas i mean because uh, sir douglas uh, one of the best colleges in overall canada so why not exactly and it's all one of the, I mean, it's the largest public college yes. uh, especially in british columbia huge uh, college and they have around thirty thousand of students in the campus and it's a very big college, honestly. So, I mean, uh, how was your C CGPA in bachelor? I think you know you have finished bachelor in pharmacy. Yes. And um, you, I think what's your IELTS score and what is your CGPA in bachelor? So my CGPA wasn't that much. It was only 2.4. Mm -hmm. uh, and my IELTS score was 7. 7. Okay. So, I mean, uh, you have started your journey with Prominent Consultant for admission process and visa process. So. How do you? How was your overall experience with Prominent? And uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, how do you recommend Com Prominent in this uh, part, in this matter? With uh, my experience with Prominent is excellent. Prominent helped me uh, twenty four seven. Whenever I uh, face any problem, Prominent helped me to get through it. And I will rate it um, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yes. Okay. So thank you so much for this uh, wonderful rating and. Dear, dear students, definitely, we always try to be sincere uh, all the time to help our students. That's, 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 that's how we did for Mahdi. 
and uh, definitely if you are planning uh, to study in Canada we have more than uh, 60 plus partnerships with different Canadian public universities and colleges and you are most welcome uh, to apply to us. So Madhi, I mean, uh, have you started your classes online or how is the plan, how is the travel plan when you are planning to travel? So we have uh, started our classes in through online platform. Uh, so two, how is, how is the learning have, experience online? Uh, yeah, it's good. They, they have an organized system. So uh, I'm not facing any problem with that. Okay. And I'm planning to travel in July. July. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks for your uh, wonderful time with us and sharing your wonderful experience as well. And uh, wish you all the best. And please uh, try to uh, do mu much better in your further career life and be Thank successful. You. Thank you so much viewers. Thanks for watching this video. Yes, uh, so for yes. Anna, uh, it was it was a success story of one of our students uh, who yeah, are uh, starting now in Douglas College. So, yes, so so your question was the admission requirement for different programs, yes, right? Yes, exactly. So let's start with our programs. Uh, since I forgot to say one thing, that Prominent Consultant is also working with Canadian public schools uh, from uh, kindergarten to class twelve. So students, those who, those who are really interested, and parents. If you if you if you want to send your kids or children uh, in Canada for a school program like from kindergarten to uh, class 12, definitely we are ready to help you out since we are working with uh, so many Canadian public schools uh, from elementary level to up to high school level. And for school levels, definitely uh, we need your academic results uh, at least 65% uh, marks. And of course, for a school program, we don't need any ILTS or, or TOEFL or any English uh, proficiency score. But definitely, we need uh, IELTS 5.5, especially for class 12, grade 12 uh, students. So that's all. And, um, and other other options are like uh, they would they will have for some other requirement for the visa purpose. And ne next next to the next our option is the foundation program in Canada. So. The students who have completed O levels or the class 10 equivalent. So we have, we are offering them foundation program, and we are having foundation program in different universities like Ryerson University. We have Welfare Law University. We have University of Manitoba. We have uh, Simon Fraser University. There, these all are the top ranked universities in Canada. We do offer their foundation program. And uh, we also have Columbia College. We also have some other universities like Thompson River University, Vancouver Island University. So we are offering the foundation program under these universities. So for foundation program, definitely you should have academic average uh, more than 55%. And also you should have IELTS minimum 5.5. It's one year less. program, right? Do one year program, one year. exactly. One year, yeah, exactly one year before starting their main bachelor program. Mm -hmm. So they can do the foundation program. And then we do offer diploma, uh, which is a post uh, secondary program, two years diploma, as I said, diploma and advanced diploma. Advanced diploma is three years program. And uh, both these programs are actually we treat as an undergraduate, undergraduate level, which is post secondary degrees. And for diploma, definitely most of our colleges, they do offer diploma and advanced diploma programs. And uh, the requirement is that you should have academic average of 55% in your uh, class 12. Oh, okay. And uh, out of 100, yes, minimum 55%. And of course, uh, they should have um, IELTS, uh, which is um, uh, minimum six overall, no band less than 5.5. A few of our colleges, they do, uh, they do accept overall 5.5, no band less than five. And for advanced diploma requirement is the same. And for bachelor, if I talk about bachelor, bachelor programs, uh, their fees is a bit higher. Like you know that uh, it uh, it they, they are um, their their requirement is bit bit high. So um, in academic they are asking for above sixty percent, mm -hmm. and some universities uh, for some some programs they are asking for more than eighty percent. Especially engineering programs mm -hmm. are very very competitive in Canadian uh, universities. Uh, uh, yeah. If I talk about like uh, you know the University of Manitoba, University of Waterloo. University mm -hmm. of Windsor University or uh, University of, uh, you know, that uh, some universities, uh, the, the good universities, especially for the engineering program, most of the universities, they are asking for good academic average. Uh, it should be more than 75%.
and uh, some universities uh, they are also asking for good uh, percentage even for bachelor in business as well and uh, for bachelor programs so they they should have a minimum um, average academic average 60 percent to up to up to 85 percent and ielts requirement is pretty higher than the diploma programs ielts requirement is overall 6.5 and no band less than six uh, but we have a few options that students if they are not good in english like if they have low low band score in ielts so for especially for the middle east countries or the students from turkey yeah. or other countries so exactly. we can offer them the additional english program uh, exactly. like inside one the university two. yes yes inside the university so we can offer them the additional english language program which could be one semester or two semester based on the level of their english uh, so based on that they can be offered english program with some additional fees so i would say that students those who have low uh, band score in ilts so they can join this english program in canada itself though it cost higher but still uh, when they study in english in canadian uh, environment so they will be also learning the education system education environment they will be learning the canadian culture so they exactly. can easily uh, they do this improve their world view yes. uh, cultural um, everything friendship cultural language barrier everything they can improve exactly exactly but so if, if they, they english... cannot afford this fees we can also provide online ielts IELTS course yes. for our international yes, yes, students. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Promian Consultant is offering the online IELTS courses mm -hmm. and students can um, participate in our IELTS online, online classes. So we can help yeah. them uh, in this matter. And uh, definitely we charge uh, very, very, very low. We charge very little for this program since yes. universities, uh, they do offer, they do ask for the English program like $5,000, $7,000. Uh, but if they don't want to spend this much money, they can uh, they can uh, they can do our IELTS program. But still, I would say that if someone is having money, if someone is having budget, definitely they can choose uh, the English the program advice, in Canada. Yeah, advice, exactly, Canada. exactly. Yes. And uh, for the postgraduate level, definitely uh, in postgraduate diploma, the IELTS, the academic average should be like fifty-five percent, and uh, mm -hmm. they, they, they should they should have IELTS overall six point five, and no band less than six and yes. um, and some colleges they they are asking for six overall no band less than 5.5 but most colleges they do ask you know that um, 6.5 overall and no band less than uh, six and uh, for masters definitely uh, if you uh, students uh, they, they should have a good percentage uh, academic uh, percentage for masters yeah. program like we always prefer that they should have more than 70 percent or 75 percent above and some masters program they do require job work experience a minimum two years or three years and, and masters programs are a bit exactly master. exactly and masters program actually uh, they do uh, demand some additional uh, requirement and additional documents since masters program are very very competitive and uh, the thing is that i would uh, say that um, uh, sometimes uh, you, might, you might be wondering that uh, whether uh, IELTS is the only uh, only uh, test score that they are accepting. No, they are accepting also PTE, that is Pearson test or TOEFL. So they are also accepting uh, the IELTS equivalent Pearson test or TOEFL as well. And nowadays in May session, in May or next uh, September 2022, we are accepting also Duolingo test score uh, for, for the temporary period um, as an alternate of IELTS. So these are the basic requirements for all these programs. So, Mr. Said, sometimes student, uh, uh, students are asking uh, from me that uh, I am uh, I graduate English. Uh, my bachelor was in English, and I have English proficiency letter. And uh, can I apply uh, without IELTS? No, uh, if English they are not in English speaking country. Exactly, exactly. Actually, most of the Canadian universities and colleges, they do accept um, English. I mean, if they if they have done English uh, bachelor uh, bachelor program in completely English medium. So but it should be from in, from an English speaking country like UK, Australia or Ireland or New Zealand. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if some some students, uh, if students uh, have done their degree from those English speaking countries, so definitely they can apply without ILTS and yes. uh, the students who have completed like you know that uh, in terms of undergraduate level uh, if they have completed like o levels or a levels and if they have good grades in uh, english uh, in their o level so definitely they can also apply without ilts so they can be accepted without ielts but i would recommend ielts is always better in terms of getting uh, you know that ielts always increases the 
possibility of visa approval. Yes, exactly. So my next question is, how would be the application process? Application process, actually, uh, since I told you that Provincial Consultant uh, is the official agent of uh, so many universities and colleges, so definitely application process on behalf of the student, we, we are doing application process. But uh, before uh, applying to the colleges or universities, we definitely discuss with the students about their choices, about their profile, about their, you know, that the suitable program. Student so counsel. upon yeah. yes, it's upon discussion and uh, then we apply for them. An application process is very simple. We have agent portal. Uh, we have the online application portal. So we are using those portal um, on behalf of students and uh, we use our name as the as the representative one as an official agent so they are coming under our 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 companies and uh, and when they are coming under our companies as an official agent we can assist them in every matters of their admission we can follow up with the international team and we can easily help them regarding this matter so every application is online based and uh, we are uh, really assisting on on that matter and as i told you that um, we don't charge anything for the application or admission mm -hmm. process yes we are not any we are not charging uh, for admission but uh, we also help uh, students for the visa process as well yeah, yes, can yes. you please give me some information about the visa requirements what is the visa requirements for each students actually visa requirements uh, it, it's 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 a very long thing uh, we cannot uh, finish in a short time but the visa requirements definitely i can i can say the very few things since yeah, you know that uh, we cannot talk much uh, on live session about the visa visa matters because uh, it's completely it by the immigration basic yes, yes but we can say that yes for the visa purpose students uh, should have a good academic background should have a good ielts score uh, then they should have offer of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, letter of acceptance or uh, the institution offer letter, and they should have a, at least one semester payment to the institution. Banks. And they should have it. Yes, they should have a. Uh, they should have a bank statement or the proof of funds. They should yeah. have sufficient funds in their bank account, and they should mm -hmm. have the proof of funds, and uh, they should have a good study plan. Uh, so they should have uh, police clearance, birth certificate. So all the requirements are mentioned in the website uh, in the uh, check. Each country so has different requirements. Yes. Different requirements. Yes. And the visa application completely uh, we um, online based. So students can apply online for their visa, yeah. and they can also give their biometric in their respective mm -hmm. countries, uh, Canadian VFS. So these are the basic requirement uh, they can find very easily uh, in the website of Canadian Immigration. Yeah, we are also following up uh, their visa and also assisting for uh, their visa. So exactly. my next question is, um, how is accommodation for uh, international students? Accommodation will be in campus or out of campus in Canada? Okay, accommodation, actually, uh, most of our partner in institutions uh they have uh, their own accommodation like on campus accommodation but yeah. as you know that the on campus accommodation uh is you know that the seats are very limited so students if they want to uh apply for the on campus accommodation they should apply earlier of the program and they should uh, they should register for that but apart from the uh, on-campus accommodation, they can also arrange the private accommodation, like in homestay options. Like uh, they can also stay with the Canadian family, uh, as a uh, you know that um, as a, as a you know that we say that as a sublet, or like uh, they can stay with the Canadian family, which we call actually the homestay options. Exactly. Also, they can um, stay privately. They can rent a house mm -hmm. or rent a, an apartment, and they can stay together with some students together. Plus, so if they stay. Yes, classmates or friends. So it, it costs a little, a little bit less. Uh, less. Mm -hmm. And accommodation and living expenses it depends on basically uh, uh, the province or city city wise. Like uh, in Toronto, in Vancouver, it's pretty pretty uh, pretty expensive. But I still I would say that uh, there are there are a few options that whether you can get a little lower lower cost as well. So accommodation cost or living expenses definitely depends on uh, the cities in Canada. Territory. Yeah. Territories and, and and definitely we can uh, help uh, students if they want basically the accommodation uh, assistance to arrange accommodation. So if they tell us, we can also assist them for this matter. Yeah, thank you. My next question is um, how students should take preparation for February uh, for 2022 intakes. How okay. students should take. 
we already have completed taking applications uh, for January 2022, which is winter 2022. So we have started taking applications now for spring uh, and fall 2022. So those uh, students who are planning for spring intake like uh, 2022, so they should have IELTS right away and they should apply right away. From in, uh, they should apply within November. And definitely those who are planning for January intake, sorry, for fall intake, like September 2022. So they can start applying uh, from December uh, since uh, some people, if they're planning for master's program, so they should apply from uh, now onward, especially for master's program, because master's program uh, admission process time. takes too much time. So they should be very careful uh, about the mm -hmm. master's program. And uh, of course, they should have the IELTS, IELTS score. Mm -hmm. the, before applying and of course uh, uh, they should have uh, like bank bank fund ready uh, that, that, that the fund they required that they should have in their bank account so a couple of months before of their visa application so these two things they need to be very careful before applying uh, to for the next couple next coming intakes actually okay thank you my next question is uh, how prominent consultant help students and what kind of service do they provide actually we talk a little bit about it so yes, yes. we, we talk a little bit about this matter and finally i would, I would like to say yes prominent mm -hmm. consultant uh, is helping students uh, since we are the direct partner of canadian public institutions so definitely we are helping them for the admission process application process and which is very smoothly we are because uh, in, in in our in our uh, process most of the students are getting offer letter there is one reason since we are doing pre-assessment, we are doing pre-assessment of all the documents of the students, and we are uh, once we are submitting, before applying. evaluating, yeah. before applying. So our evaluation is very perfect, and when we are mm -hmm. applying uh, to the um, university colleges, uh, most cases, 90% cases are successful in terms of admission because we know that uh, what kind of uh, documents we require, what kind of uh, requirement is there. To, to be eligible for the program so students can be very uh, very comfortable with us during the application since we are very very careful uh, during the evaluation and um, after that uh, we do assist them for the visa application process uh, we do assist them means like we give them the guidelines the basic guidelines yes. uh, like um, according to the according to the immigration um, checklist or immigration policies so and also we guide them for the pre uh, departure formalities or post arrival formalities that what they need to do before de departure of their countries yes. or after after arrival what will be the, their procedure so we do always uh, assist them in this matter sometimes uh, we do also assist them for the accommodation part uh, if uh, we can help them if um, because some students they're asking for the accommodation support or for the accommodation assistance some so students we apply try with also with family we are also yes, assisting yes. family right Yes, yes, yes. So, so we also assisting families uh, to to for applying for the visa, mm -hmm. and finally, of course, if they um, sometimes you also help them assist them for the year ticket arrangement or something like that for traveling to Canada. So this is how actually we help them. We give them also the IELTS training as well the English uh, English uh, training. So we are actually giving the A to Z support for, to our students. So. So full, students full package, uh, and uh, full, package. Not full package service to them. Yes. yes, yes, yes. From from A to Z, and and definitely we are very transparent in our service. So students are uh, are getting to know everything uh, in the process. So there is no hidden things, you know, in our in our service or in our process. The students can know everything what we are doing. I mean, what kind of documents we are submitting, and what I mean, students always uh, are with us in the process so they are very so they are getting confidence and they are get, they are very satisfied yeah. um, because uh, they, they they are they are aware they are aware of all the processes during, during our exactly. during this journey exactly okay so mr said uh, my uh, last uh, question is mm -hmm. um, do you have any words to our future students fine uh, uh, actually uh, prominent has uh, is working now in the global markets definitely uh, since uh, students uh, they are facing so many challenges uh, during application mm -hmm. how to choose a right course how to choose the right yes. institution whether yeah. yes whether they should choose a college whether they should choose it into the university 
or so they are they are very puzzled you know that and there are a lot of comments uh, behind them like uh, so so many people are saying so many things to them so they are getting very confused so since i would like to recommend all the students that since prominent is very experienced in this part since they have been working since last 14 years and you can use our experience you can use our skill and uh, definitely we don't charge anything for the guidance for the counseling so you can you can get get into touch with prominent and definitely organize there for for those for for you in in your area so she will be really happy to uh, work uh, to to yes. give you the guidance and one more thing that we are uh, every month we will be having live sessions as like information session we will be having um, the live session with the university representative as well we will be having virtual events with the students as so well our so can join and they can ask a question directly from representatives so we are giving this from chance the to them also Yes, yes, yes. So uh, Canada is a wonderful country. Definitely, it's a wonderful country, wonderful place uh, for uh, for higher education. You can enjoy there. You will get a very diverse uh, environment, very multicultural environment, very safe environment, and you will be learning uh, practically. And also, you will be getting a world, uh, I mean, internationally recognized degree. So definitely, you can choose Canada. And we, prominent consultant, uh, as an official agent of more than 65 Canadian public institutions, will be really happy. To process your application and visa as well. So thank you so much, Fargana, thank you. Thank for you this for uh, wonderful time. session with me. Answers. It will be too much effective for our future students. So, in case if they have any extra questions, we are here. We are ready to answer them. So see you next live session. Exactly. And I would like to say just finally that uh, okay, it's late, late, it's quite late. Uh, so we have uh, just one hour live session we have done. Since uh, see that if you have any question, if you just inbox, uh, inbox us in our Facebook page or you can WhatsApp us or this live session will be in our timeline as well in our, in, your, in our YouTube channel as well. So whenever you want, you can watch this live session. I hope this live session will be very helpful for you. Hope so to. thank you so much for Thank, thank you so you. much thank and much. Um, for a wonderful hosting and see you again. Thank you. Uh, Have a nice day. Yes, yes, viewers. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank Take care. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night.